Hello, my quilting friends. Leah Day here with a special podcast episode. This is just a short little uh, episode to share my thoughts and feelings about turning 34 and my birthday this year in 2017. So in years past, I really haven't shared much about kind of what I'm thinking about my birthday and, I'm, and I miss that. I'm actually kind of sorry that I didn't do that on the blog. Uh, the blog is really a nice journal, you know, it's a way of looking back. And every once in a while, when I have a question, like, was I going through this before? You know, I can search my blog and find old entries where I shared about worrying about something or going through something. And that's so helpful because I can look back, but then also see how far I've come. And so this is something I want to start doing every year is to share a little birthday post and kind of what I'm thinking about. And then in the future, I'll be able to look back at that and have a better perspective, I think. So this birthday, turning 34, didn't seem like a very big deal. I wasn't really thinking about it much. I know on the run up to turning 30, I had actually um, scratched out, like I, I had daily, kept a daily log of how many days I had left <laughs> until I turned 30. And uh, that was a really big deal and I was really anxious about it. And then of course the birthday came and went and everything was fine. Uh, but 34 didn't seem like, you know, that's such a big deal until I realized that it's actually 17 years times two. So it's like I turned 17 twice. And for some reason that felt special to me all of a sudden. And it made me start to reflect and think back to who I was when I was 17, which honestly feels like a totally different person. Um, I wish I could go back in time and both hug my former self, shake her teeth out <laughs> for all of the mistakes she was making um, and slap some sense into her, but also you know, give her a hug because there were a lot of hard days coming. And, uh, you know, especially my senior year going into college, that was a really rough time for me. And when I look at it, it's kind of hard to believe that it's been 17 years since then. And when I did the math, I realized, you know, I'm, in a couple more years, I will have been married longer than I have been not married. And that kind of blew my mind too. Uh, that was kind of crazy. I don't know. It's just one of those funny things. I can't really remember my 17th birthday. I can't remember what I did specifically that day, but I know it probably involved marching band practice. <laughs> I was in marching band and it probably involved hanging out with friends. And usually what I would do on the weekends back then was go to Greensboro, North Carolina and hang out. And I had some haunts that I like to, I like to go to Borders and look at books on, on quilting and crafting and beadwork. And I like to go to CompUSA and play on the Macintosh computers. And so it just kind of happened. It was kind of a weird thing that um, right this week, or I guess it would be last week, um, my sewing machine dealer for my Janome uh, Yield Force Quilt Shop, Joanne, sent me an email and said, hey, your machine needs to be updated. Can you bring it in? You know, driving to Greensboro, I live about three hours away. You know, it's not something that I just up and do, but it was kind of nice that I had that excuse to go there. Now, if you have a Janome 15,000, it is a very big upgrade and it fixes some different things on the machine. Uh, plus I hadn't actually been updating the software on the machine, so that got updated too. So that felt really, really good to just take care of all that business. I needed to get my car, you know, oil changed and stuff. So I got all that business taken care of. And then I was able to drive around and kind of, I didn't even get out of the car. I just, you know, I just saw the spots that I used to drive by a lot when I was a kid. And then I went to my favorite restaurant that is thankfully still there 17 years later. Uh, so I ate some Vietnamese food and then came home. And, you know, it was that simple, but it was really nice to be able to have that little tangent. And I just, I just drove around by myself, you know, and you know, debated inviting Josh along and he was thinking about coming. And then I said, you know, I really, I think I want to go by myself. I really want to just be able to be quiet and drive around and, and check things out and just kind of remember what it was like to be 17 again. So it was a little bit of a tangent, but I'm really happy that I did that and was able to look back and reflect on who I was at 17. And then now looking forward to 17 years in the future, I'll be 51 which whew, blows my mind. I know, I know that's still not very old, but it blows my mind at 34 completely. 
And my son, who is 10, will be 27. That really blows my mind because <laughs> I can't imagine him being an adult. You know, he could have kids by then. He could be married. You know, he could be a totally grown-up adult person. And, and that feels crazy. But at the same time, I know how fast these last 17 years have passed. So, you know, I guess it was a real reminder to just make every day count and to really enjoy this time. You know, it's easy to get really stuck and bogged down with worries. And I've been worried a lot this year. It's been a rough year. Uh, we just, you know, things have been slowing down. The quilt shop hasn't been doing as well. And it's scary to admit that, you know, I think so much of being a professional is looking professional and looking like you're successful and being honest and saying, well, you know what, sometimes things slow down. And, you know, and Josh was saying today, like, what is it? What are we doing wrong? You know, what are we missing? And I said, I don't think it's one single thing. I think it's the internet is changing and I haven't written a book in, I don't know, four years, six years, something like that. Um, you know, I think it's just a lot of different things that are going on. I don't think it's one single thing, uh, but it's been, a, it's been a lot of a hustle. And I've been worried. And, uh, and I kind of thought back to being 17 and what I was worried about back then. And it's a totally different set of worries. I was worried about, you know, what was, what am, what, what was I going to do with college? You know, was I going to go to college? And what was my life going to be like? And, you know, was my, my boyfriend that I had at the time, was that going to pan out? Are we going to break up? You know, and I mean, I look back on it now and I'm just like, oh my gosh, all of that was so silly. You know, it was so silly to worry about any of that stuff because it, all of it sorted itself out in the end uh, and all in a better way, you know? So I'm kind of looking at this and the things that I'm worried about and the things that have been on my mind a lot lately. And I'm kind of looking at it with the perspective of, you know what, I really hope when I'm 51 that none of this is a worry anymore. I'll probably have an entirely different set of worries that will be completely unrelated to these worries. There will always be something to worry about, certainly. There will always be some sort of problem looming on the horizon. But, you know, I don't want that to ever consume me, you know, and take over. So while things have been tight and hard and I've been hustling my butt off, <laughs> I know deep down in my heart that I wouldn't want to be doing anything else. And I'm so happy and fortunate to be doing what I'm doing. And I love that. And I hope that when I'm 51, I'm still making quilting videos and sharing them online. I hope I'm still writing. I hope I am still doing all of the stuff and more. Because really, there's nothing better than this. So this goddess quote behind me is Dream Goddess. And she is asking a very, very simple question. And that is, what life do you want to have? You know, what is your dream life? She's dreaming. Her eyes are closed and she's dreaming of that world. And then she's creating it. There's a landscape above her head and she's creating that world and creating that new dawn. So when I look at this, and it's not finished yet, but it's hanging on my wall because I enjoy looking at it. When I look at it, I'm constantly asking that question. You know, what life do I want to have? Where do I want to go? And I really want to share more stuff like this. I really want to write about that and share that and come from my heart and teach that to quilters who want to make quilts that mean more. And I really hope that you're enjoying that too. So a few other things for my birthday. Dad surprised me with these beautiful bags and I have to give a shout out to the ladies in the Gaston Quilt Guild. So Gaston County Quilt Guild, which is 30 minutes away and I'm probably gonna go and check them out because this is my quilting. <laughs> this is the craziest thing. Dad pulled these bags out and I was like, that looks really familiar but in a really weird way because I've never made a bag like this before but that quilting looks really familiar. Well, what it was is I had all of this quilted stuff from years and years of just doing practice sandwiches and, and different things on video. And this was actually from 2012. And so I'd sent it to the ladies as a donation just so they could cut it and sew it into something for charity. And they donate a lot of stuff to the Gaston County Women's Shelter and also put bags like this in cop cars. And so they made these and sent them to me. <laughs> and it's just... 
It's such a delight to see this. I mean, I have never made anything like this and it's so well finished. They did such a good job on it. I mean, it's a fully lined bag. I've got to show off because they did a great job. It's a fully lined, super cute bag. And you know, that's my quilting that I did in 2012. So that was really, really special. And I just wanted to say thank you for that. And I'm just so delighted to have those. And I know I'm gonna be putting you know, special threads and, and different things in the smaller bag. So we are running a sale this week, a birthday sale, and it's gonna be 40% off all digital downloads. So that's books and patterns, and of course our online quilting workshops. So definitely come and check that out. Come and take a class with me. I have so much to teach you. There's so many things that I wanna show you how to do. So I hope that you'll come and take a class with me and learn more about quilting. It's really such a wonderful, amazing craft, and I can't wait to dig even deeper and learn even more and share it with you. Until next time, let's go quilt.